Live, we're live. Um, here we are, 10,000 subscribers, uh, which nobody is yet watching. So please do uh, chat, tell me where you are watching from, uh, and say hello. I hope we're all staying safe uh, in this environment. Welcome to the new place. Um, you can see there are still a number of boxes kind of hanging around. Ray has made his way up onto the wall. Uh, Miles is on the wall here. Uh, there are other things knocking about. Of course, the piano is in as well. I've actually been able to play some piano recently as well. Um, so uh, what else is going on? Obviously, you can still say the mess. Ten people watching. Ten of you. Hit like straight away. Come on, let's say like. Welcome. Uh, ten people. There, we've just gone down to eight. That's good. Uh, but ten of you and ten of 10,000 subscribers. If you've been subscribing to me for a long time, you'll know that this has been a target that I've been aiming for. Um, it's something that enables me to unlock YouTube space which is now closed. Um, never mind, <laughs> we got here. Uh, I had a little debate with Amy and Charlie about whether I was gonna be able to reach 10,000 subscribers before um, I moved into the house and it happened this afternoon, so a couple of days afterwards. Um, I don't actually have a very, I don't actually have any internet at the house. I'm doing everything uh, via my trusty iPhone. Sky stroke OpenReach PT have really let me down. Uh, I'm really not happy with them right now. So I mean, kind of in this environment, it's been a nightmare, but thankfully my mobile phone provider has enabled me to. But what I want to do today is just have a little bit of a Q&A, uh, just celebrate with you guys. Um, I don't actually have anything to drink and celebrate. I may go and get something in a minute, although I don't want to break any guidelines. Um, I am going to do some more vlogs coming up once I've got settled in, once I've got everything in. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Gary Dogs. Thank you, Bjorn. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for commenting. Anybody else want to shout out, just stick yourself in the live chat. And if you've got any questions, what? so I was saying before, what I'd like to do on this live stream right now is, uh, first of all, celebrate with you guys. And then secondly, what I'd like to do is just invite you to do a quick Q&A. And I've got my tenor all ready to go. And I want to play something for you before we finish today's live stream. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you for your emails that you sent me as well in the in the past. Thank you very much for those. Corey, Simon, thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome along. Uh, and thank you to you guys. And please keep the ideas coming in. I mean, as I said before, moving house and everything else like that has been uh, kind of a whole new thing and obviously a lot going on. But once I'm settled in here, and especially now we're all on lockdown, or soon to be all on lockdown, uh, then you know, plenty of time to make videos. I have a video coming up about keeping your reads clean. I had to buy some really nice gin in order to show you that, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes on that. Simon, thank you very much. Zelda, thank you very, very much as well. Um, keep hitting those likes, everybody. And if you're very new here and you haven't subscribed already, then be my 10,005th subscriber and more. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Lots and lots more content coming your way. And of course, when YouTube space reopens again, I'll be able to do the special 10,000 subscriber video, which I've had in mind for a long time, but I want to do it with a green screen. And uh, yeah those good things happening so uh while we're here any questions and first of all how are you guys how are you guys on the chat um uh, i presume from what i can guess on here anthony you'll be the only one uh on here is probably i'm aware of he's on lockdown i know that uh, uh, a few others were saying they were on lockdown the other week um when we were doing um i can't remember was it live on somewhere but um yeah if you're stuck um how are you getting through this lockdown i mean one of the things um Doing wind synth videos. I did do. I, I did do something on the Ewe. Um, I'm sure I did. I'm sure I played the Ewe. The Ewe's in the cupboard over there, in the new cupboard. I ought to maybe join. Oh crap! I must kick something. I shouldn't have done. Uh, maybe join this lockdown. I can um, maybe do a bit more Ewe practice. I always find with the Ewe, I don't. Be with you in a minute. <laughs> with the Ewe, I always. I have a bag under here. That, Still not. Um, uh, Ewe. Um, yeah, I just kind of, I don't have enough time to um, to practice my tenor and alto and soprano. So kind of the Ewe always tends to sort of go back. Corey, uh, have you ever thought about getting a baritone sax? I do have, or did have a baritone sax, I should say. Um, it's on a couple of recordings. My kind of best solo I ever did on a recording on the Barry. Uh, it's on a Christmas tune we did called Merry Christmas Baby. Um, that's probably the only decent uh, one I... Uh, actually did on that um but um because of the back problems i've had and i really want to point up here to another video but of course i can't do because i can't live link the videos as i normally do in the vlog um but i have had back issues which meant that 
playing barrier is just a bad idea. Even just cutting it to gigs is heavy going. My back is small. Put up with it. Uh, Rick, great to see you. Detroit, not going to make Detroit Jazz Festival this year, I don't think, but it's in, it's in, the, uh, it's in the bag. Dave's Nature Productions, Northern Ireland. Sorry for the accent there. Um, but uh, great. Whereabouts are you in uh, Northern Ireland, Dave's Nature Productions? Are you kind of Antrim down? That kind of area. Uh, obviously, if you didn't know already, I used to live there. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, so that was Barry Ewe. Um, ballads album. Really, way to do it. Who knows what we're going to do? But do you remember? I mean, if you've been watching the vlog for a while, I said probably about a couple of years ago when I set on my Patreon, um, I wanted to. I wanted to set up these live lounge things, and it's almost like this is the only way we're going to survive right now as musicians through this, is to be able to have um, some kind of live lounge gigs. And I've said it um, on the previous video uh, about coronavirus, and it's becoming more and more apparent. I really, really want to try and garner some support from my Patreon, guys. It's $2 a month. It's all you need to pay. And what I want to be able to do is to bring other musicians in here, obviously safely socially distancing ourselves from each other, and be able to give some of my friends who are full-time musos, who, you know, who don't have a YouTube channel, don't have necessarily a lot of Skype teaching, who have basically just seen their incomes just being decimated, and the government in the UK is doing nothing to help them. I want, in a tiny little way, I want to be able to phone them up and go, hey, guys, look, here's 50 quid. Come and play a gig with me in here, and we can do something for you guys. YouTube's not the way of doing it. I just cannot generate enough income for it. Patreon gives me the option to do that. And one of the things I am doing on Patreon, not been able to do as much as I want because of this damn internet not working, is to provide you with a new playlist every single day. So that I'm doing, I'm going to do 30 playlists. It might not be consecutive days because of the internet, but I'm going to do a new playlist every single day. Uh, and I've already put five up there now. So if you are in lockdown, if you're in isolation or you're just self-isolating, there's some great, um, great things in there. Dave's from Mill Isle. See, I've been able to pronounce it right. It's a bit like when people first land in Northern Ireland, when I did, and they go to New Town Arts instead of Newton Arts. Um, let's check up with some more things here. Bjorn says, do you ever touch your Yanni Tenor nowadays? It is here, Bjorn, right next to me in its case. I will play it. I will definitely play it. Um, I'll get it out. I love it. It's a great saxophone. Sounds a bit like Donald there, don't I? Um, but it's just not my six. My six, I told you about this, this battered old lady. Um, piece of metal. It's... It's just my horn, and it's just the sound I've wanted for, for a long time, and it's just what gives me that. Um, Guy with dogs, how long does it take to produce one of your vlogs? How much time in post-production? It depends on the vlog. A standard vlog when I'm doing it, if I'm on the ball, you'll you'll notice the vlogs tend to fit within a day. That's the kind of what I, uh, the sort of genre of vlog always does, is to squeeze within um, a 24-hour period, or normally with most people's lives, 10 to 18 hours. I've got pretty, I'm going to say pretty good. I'm not that good at it, but I've got better at it. Uh, and I'm pretty much on the ball now and I'm editing. So it will take me, if it's a standard day, I would say two to three hours to edit. So it's still a lot. Um, what I try and do now is, you'll notice in some of the vlogs, I'll try and edit during the day. So I'll try and shoot some footage. I'll immediately get it into the editing program, get that edited, sorted out. That also helps me to know what I need to do next in order to try and complete the story in the day. Sometimes in kind of the new world, and I live in and have lived in for six months, I just don't get the chance to finish that off that day. If I've got the children staying with me on my own and they, they have you know needs and things to be sorted out, I have to deal with that. So, um, so yeah, but on, on the thing... Um, have you tried any of the online code relationships like Jam, Kazam, or Soundjack? That's the first time I've heard of them. Gary Dogs, so I will be checking them out. Um, what is the most useful item in your sax case other than your sax? Well, the mouthpiece, obviously, um, the reeds, but probably neck strap. And as I was saying before about the Barry, uh, the reason I don't play baritone anymore is because of the, the damage it's done to my back. Uh, are these Kabula straps? I'm not on an endorsement deal with these guys. They've just saved my career, and I've said this before. These are fantastic. This is a new one they sent me. It's really, 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 really good. Um, what things are you practicing at the moment? Right now at the moment, Simon, I'm not doing any practice because I'm trying to move into the house. Um, but uh, what I will be doing and what I'm advocating you all to do is transcription projects. Um, Anonymous says no one can hear you. Could nobody hear me? Always a bit worried when an anonymous person says that. Often means it's perfectly fine. Rick, anyone like that? Can you say if you can hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah, I thought you could. Um, the joys of, of, of uh, Anonymous. Uh, where was that? Um, what were we talking about then? What things we're practicing? There we go. Transcriptions. Always trying to go back to transcriptions. Um, you know, kind of, there's loads of transcription projects on the Cambridge Saxophone website. If you want to go over and do one of them, there's, you know, you can throw 20 quid at it or something, do a, do a transcription project. Um, and just um, yeah, get into listening. One of the things that has happened here, when you know, we kind of rely on how reliant we are on the internet, is IDs. And I put a fantastic um, Roy Hargrove CD on yesterday. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, there we go. Can you all see that Roy Hargrove CD? fantastic album and what i'm doing now i started listening to it today is this uh Whitman marsalis recording live at the vanguard there are one two three four five six cds so i listened to uh this one today i'm going to listen to the other ones on each other day so it's like kind of sitting in that vanguard cd the village vanguard what a club what a club let's have a look at some other questions on here What is the best sax reads ever? I love my Daddario Select Jazz. I just find they're consistent and they work, but um, I've still yet to find the perfect read. I've yet to find the perfect one. They're good. They're the best, best of a bunch. Um, but you know, next yet to find the perfect read. Um, thank you very much, the ten thousand. Do you ever take your own mic on gigs? Yes, um, but I only tend to take my fifty-seven beta. Uh, it's an SM57 Vita. It's normally a vocal mic. Um, I remember playing at Burt's Jazz Club in Belfast, gosh, it must be eight, nine, ten years ago now. And that was the microphone I always really liked. I don't tend to take condenser microphones on gigs because they always tend to get bashed around. But usually in my gig bag is a 57 Vita. And if I don't like what they're providing me with, I'll often just say the sound tech, excuse me, do you mind if I just change? Whack it in, off we go. Um, yeah, Francis, tenor sax, bass clarinet. Yeah, get on with it. And just, you know, but I would try and say, you know, um, without a little bit of a plug, um, get, you know, like my practice planner idea, plan your practice. Don't just think I'm just going to blow for three hours. Blowing for three hours is better than not blowing for three hours. But a two hours of structured practice is really going to help you and set some goals. I mean, the sort of standard thing from governments at the minute is it's going to be 12 weeks. So 12 weeks is a long time. Like, you know, three months worth of work. <laughs> You know, I would easily say you could easily complete three transcription projects in that time um, if you just choose shorter ones. So I would suggest, off the top of my head, you want to definitely cover a Sonny Rollins one, which I'm doing at the minute, the Surrey with a Fringe on top. Um, a modern player, a Chris Potter, a Joshua Redman, uh, Bramford, someone like that. And then I would tran uh, transcribe someone who's not a saxophone player. So uh, get down some Miles Davis, because Miles is brilliant. Miles is beautiful melodic play you know kind of can can you play miles's solo on so what can you sing miles's solo on so what can you play lee morgan's solo on blue train or lee morgan's solo on lazy bird uh, they're, they're great solos i mean even if you can't play them can you sing them because that's always a good place to start um are you familiar with the cd open sesame freddie Hubbard? yes fantastic album what sax model is the best one to start one? Yamaha student. Every single time. Charlie, my son, is taking up the trumpet. And um, it's, the head trumpet is just there on the case. Where we go? There. And um, it's actually a friend's father's trumpet. It's a Selma, old Selma. But I was asking in the shop because uh, it needed a bit of work. Thank you. The move's kind of there. Um, uh, how picky are you with hi-fi systems and audio file way? Um... I'm not totally anal about it. Um, I do like to have good sound quality. I chose the HomePod over Alexa because, well, A, the HomePod is Apple, so it can integrate something like that. But I also did check the sound quality of the Alexa, and the HomePod is so much better. And there is a HomePod review on the website, of course. So, um, you know, you know like on that, the rest of the time, do you know what? I, I did comment to a friend the other week. I said, you know, do you think we'll all be sat around in 10, 15, 20 years' time with CDs? Going, do you know what? 
the resolution of this sound is just so much better than anything you hear now. So everyone does that with vinyl at the minute, but how warm it is. Um, Gregory says, congratulations to the 10K. I hope you reach 15K by 20. Thank you very much. And you know what? It's, it's sort of a common wisdom on YouTube that the first thousand subscribers are the hardest. And you have to really work. I'm gonna hopefully I've worked for all of you, and I, I'll keep creating and doing the content that you guys enjoy. But certainly, you know, if you look exponentially, you know, I kind of uh, get to a thousand took a while. Um, to get to five thousand, we were there two um, two years ago. To get from five to ten has only taken just under two years. So uh, it's remarkable. And as I said on Instagram today, you know, just under four years ago, I changed my YouTube channel from being someplace where I posted a little bit of gig footage and some uh, reviews of gear to doing vlogs. And it's been hard work. Um, maybe I've not learned, you know, maybe it's tested other areas of my life in ways that I didn't think it would do. Um, but it's been such a great thing. It's been great to meet so many of you virtually and in person uh, and to hear your stories and to, to try and just share this love that we all have uh, mostly for the saxophone, but I know you're all saxophone players on here, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, and just to hear stories of how videos have helped you or, uh, you know, things like that have, have come along, it's, it's been great. It's been really, really good. Guys, I am going to sign off in a minute because we've already done 16 minutes, so I'm going to play something for you. Now, I'm going to finish um, day with thing Remen posted on his Instagram. Um... It's one of my favorite tunes of all time anyway. It's the first song I'm ever gonna be able to play in this house. Uh, and given everything else that's happening at the minute, um, I just feel it's appropriate. It's one of my favorite melodies ever. Um, and I'm gonna keep producing videos. If you don't hear from me for a few days, keep up on my other social media channels. I will try and post a little bit more to them. Um, but all of you stay safe. The chances are with 10,000 of you, admittedly across the globe, but particularly in the UK, uh, USA and in Western Europe are going to end up with this thing and stay safe look after your family um, call your family today if you haven't already um, if you have got underlying conditions make sure you're self-isolating don't take chances in fact don't take chances full stop um, and we will get out the other side of this and we'll all remember it uh, and let's remember it for a time when some amazing creativity was unleashed <laughs> I hope the um, sax doesn't overpower the mic because I'm still just on the standard iMac thing. And yes, the grey jumper.
Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Keep subscribing. Give me a like. I'll see you with a proper video in a couple of days' time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.